Yes, welcome back to my channel. So I've had many people say, oh, I love this dress and I would like to know how it is made. So guys, this is a video on how this top is made. Remember, if you'd like to see a palazzo, don't forget to also click on my link in the description to show you how the palazzo is made. So guys, let's get straight into the video. Yeah, so I advise you fold your paper slightly, not too much, okay? So I think it will fold. So that is, I'm marking my shoulder line. And the next thing I've just done is... Um, my length of my blouse okay i actually want to do 25 okay but i think at this point i'll just change my line to 26 i think 20 is okay for me so i'll bring 26 all the way okay from the shoulder line so i advise you add your paper to complete before marking i did mine after and it was a bit difficult so i advise you add your papers to complete the paper so it will be easy for you to mark once and for all so now i've just marked my length of my blouse So the next thing I'm doing is my shoulder and my neck point and my neck depth. So I'm using four inches by three. So I'll be taking my neck point. My neck depth is um four inches and my neck point is 3.75. So um remember that I'll be removing half of an inch because I want for my sewing allowance. I've deducted already. Now I won't be marking my um armhole because after everything I want to do is afterwards. So I just marked my points when boss points okay so from the boss point i marked my nipple to nipple and that will serve as a guide for the slash and spread okay guys so i'm just trying to recheck um because i just added my paper so i just want to recheck that i have 26 all the way so that's why i said you should add just at the beginning so it will be easier for you okay so the next thing i'll do is to um, get the second side of my nipple to nipple since i've opened up the pattern so that is already i have my middle line there middle fold line so i'll just extend my nipple to nipple line and my boss points line okay so yeah we're checking my boss point so i'm doing it to the opposite side and i've just marked my boss point so the next thing i'll be doing is to get the nipple to nipple distance And I'll be marking it yeah I'll be marking it all the way down okay so I'll just extend my lines okay to serve as a guide for cutting so I'll just I'm just slashing from the nipple line so slashing all the way to the um, end of the pattern but be careful do not cut it out else you might have issues spreading it but if you want to cut it out and you can manage it that's fine so I will be cutting mine out so at this point I've just spread by four inches I've just spread by four inches and I've added my paper okay so make sure you secure it that it does not move else you're going to have a different measurement so i'm going to retake my the measurement from the top again and i just want to confirm that it's four inches which is very necessary so i'm just going to check that my measurement is correct so here we are marking the length of the blouse again Okay, at this point, I'll just explain that I did not do my shoulder slope because it will, it might, in one way, affect um, this what I'm doing right now. So I will be doing my shoulder slope at the end of all of the cotton. Okay.
Okay, guys, I won't be shaping the side of my blouse, the two edges, because I will do that when I release the cotton on the fabric. So, but if you feel you want to shape your edges, you can do that by just going up by one inch by this at the edge so that it won't be bulging, okay? But I would love to do my after sewing or during the process of sewing. Now, I'm cutting my back, I'm just using about two inches for the back, and that is it. Okay guys, this is it. This is what we have. Okay, if you want your front to be high low, at this point, after working with your front, you can still after working with the back, you can decide to hide to reduce the length of the front by making it high low, okay? But I do not want to do a high low, so I'll be fine with this. I'm just adding one inch by the side, okay? Which is going to serve as my same allowance. And remember that the shoulder, we have not done the shoulder slope, so I'm going to be adding my half inch seam allowance for the shoulder so that by the time I do the shoulder slope, I will have my half inch to join the dress. So, like I said, at this point, if you want, this is the back that I'm cutting now. If you want to have your front as a um, high, high and the back low, so after cutting this part, all you need to do is to reduce the length of the front you can reduce as length um two inches okay but i just want a random equal size so guys this is it i've just cut the front um I've, i'm going i've just cut the front and the back now i'm making a facing i love using facing for my dress not just piping okay so i've just cut out the facing for the for, for the front and i also cut out the facing for the back so guys basically this is what the cutting is all about you just have to go ahead and start doing the joining if you want a sleeve at this um if you want it to be a sleeve at this point you can just measure your sleeve length but if you don't want it this you leave it like so this is this i made it sleeveless so this is what i have i hope you guys like it please don't forget to um follow my page and if you love the pants you're saying i have a video popping out right now for the pants for the palazzo so to take you straight to my palazzo video bye